hard to see from the moment we arrive. Cornelia, you are one who will survive. When time's been bad, you put smiles on it. I have some magazine cutouts of flowers. I have some phrases that I cut out from magazine pages as well. And I have full length magazine pages that I want to use to create ephemera today. Sometimes we think that we need very fancy and decorative papers to create beautiful things in our journals or to create art with. And that's further from the truth. You can create beautiful art and pieces for your journal, pieces for your shop, out of magazine pages and I want to show you how easy it is to use little fragments from pages that you can choose from any type of magazine out there there's always images that can speak to us and can make our art look beautiful today I'm going to have some fun playing around with my favorite magazines at the moment showing you guys the types of images that I like to use how you can incorporate them with digitals, with papers that you already have. I'm going to be using some of my Polaroids and film strips as an example as to how easy it is to use these images to decorate your pages. Usually magazines are just like people and they come in multiple sizes, styles, colors. I like to stick to, especially if I'm making ephemera for journals, garden magazines and this is exactly where I got these cutouts from is from one of my favorite garden magazines at the moment I love them for the script for of course the imagery is beautiful you can't go wrong with flowers you can use the contents page of the magazine as well and I'll show you how we can alter this into a pocket and then the full page spreads that sometimes magazines offer they're perfect for using as journal pages. Definitely have various sizes, full pages, small little snippets, and script pieces. This is an example of some tiny script pieces that I cut out from a garden magazine as well. So I like to keep my small pieces in a little pocket so I don't lose them. For garden magazines, these are two of my favorites at the moment. Country gardens and flowers and gardens, very straight and to the point. <laughs> Typically, most of these magazines can be found in your Barnes & Noble, and if during this time you're not comfortable with going out and purchasing them in person, you can always buy them online. And the inside is just blooming with images. This is where I got my full-length page of that beautiful pink floral, and these are the types of pages that I like to use for creating journals as full pages. This would be perfect for a little tag. So. This is one of my favorite magazines at the moment. And look at this page. This looks as if fairies would live in here. It's just beautiful photography, beautiful florals, and of course you get some inspiration through the pages. So this is something that I would cut out and put as a full page in one of my journals. I mean, look at this one. This page is stunning, this full layout. I would honestly want to frame this because it's so beautiful. But these are some of the prettiest floral arrangements that I have seen. And then the backgrounds, look at this orange with the teal. This would be perfect for a fall journal. So definitely go check out these garden magazines. Look at this one, blooms, beautiful blooms. <laughs> so that's a quick example of the two favorite floral magazines that I am using at the moment. Now, if you're someone that likes patterns and different type of eclectic imagery, I definitely recommend the Frankie magazine. I love it for the imagery. I love it for the artistry, the fonts. You get artist illustrations in here, different types of fonts and lettering. It's just really cool. And for me, this type of magazine is very inspirational as it gives me a modern slash vintage feel to the ephemera that I want to create. So you can always combine eclectic and quirky magazine cutouts with more vintage or typical like floral cutouts like look at this these are images of sketchbooks and I would honestly cut these out and put them in my journal as inspiration but you can cut this person's journal oh, I feel bad we're not really cutting her journal we're just cutting an image of her journal and you can use this as a tag or an example of full patterns. This is beautiful. I would cut this out and put it in my personal journal. So when you're going through your magazines, make sure to pick some patterns to use as backgrounds. 
some images that you like as the focal point, and some fonts slightly larger or super teeny tiny to further emphasize and decorate the collage or the imagery that you want to put into your ephemera or your journal pages. So here's an example of two different piles of clipouts from two different magazines. This is the garden magazines that I've showed you, the clipouts that I have chosen, and then these are the clipouts from the Frankie magazine. So you'll notice one is more focused on the imagery and then another one is focused on the patterns and the phrases. So for the Frankie magazine, I decided to use this type, which is typewriter font, which is my favorite. And I loved the pale yellow color of the paper. So this is gonna be background paper for my journal pages and ephemera. Then I also found these that I absolutely loved. And then this is that purple paper that's going to be perfect for backgrounds. This is some borders from the pages. So this is an advertisement page. And I just cut around the advertisement to get some of this baby blue paper. And then same with this like chevron tile print. I loved the pattern and I think it's going to go really well with some of the flowers. And same thing, it was on the borders of the advertisement. So even the smallest little strip would do wonders in a collage, especially if you're creating it to make your own art or for your journal pages. The littlest piece of paper holds so much power when you're talking about composition because our eye is geared towards different colors, different textures and patterns. So having multiple little pieces just makes it even better. And then here are some sentiments that I wanted to choose. You'll notice that these sentiments and the type and the phrase is more modern and then the one that you find typically in garden magazines has more of a vintage script. So I like combining both. Since the type of ephemera that I want to make today is going to be a mix of vintage and modern, as well as combining it with real vintage papers and images from my printables. This is from book pages and like vintage receipts. So you'll notice there is a plethora of images, of patterns, of scripts out there in magazines. So pick out your favorites, cut apart some pieces, and combine them with papers that you already have. Too many tears on your pillow, on your pillow. 